Hey guys, so I cannot be too too loud in this one because everybody's asleep and I just got off work so this is the only time I have to do a video right now, but I was going to do this one as Reds my Nads because there's just a little too much going on right now. It is April the 17th. The Notre Dame Cathedral burned down two days ago and it has already raised almost one billion dollars to rebuild a building. That's right, a building. Meanwhile, we can't raise almost a single dollar for the homeless, for the starving, for the needy, poor infrastructures, but hey, that's okay, you know, let's focus on some buildings, some churches, because this world is so much better with religion, right? I think, I think we can all agree that this world would be better off without religion and politics. Religion is nothing more than a moral compass, and politics is nothing more than a big brother. And both of those have abandoned us. Our moral compass just points in any direction. Our big brother has just up and left us like a abusive stepfather or some shit. I don't know. But that's not the point. The point I wanted to make today that is really ratting my nads is this girl right here. Her name. Sorry, I had it up. Her name was Nusrat Jahan Rafi. I'm sorry, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly or not, but... That was... The young woman... Who was burned to death. reporting her sexual harassment from her teacher. She uh, went to the headmaster's office to talk to them and he started groping her and she fled before he could get out of hand and filed a complaint with the police. And this was in Bangladesh. And if anyone who knows the Middle East knows that any sexual crime, rape, or harassment is just brushed off over there, as was with her. And instead of jailing her, which is usually typical, they would jail someone until they decide that hey, you know what, maybe that rape wasn't a big idea. I had a little bit of fun. So, no, I'm not gonna, I'm done. I didn't mean to say anything bad about that guy. Because that's just the way things are over there. But instead of jailing her, they just told her to go on. And she went to school the next day and was burned by her classmates. Probably at the orders of her headmaster, or the police, or both. And luckily, she managed to survive the attack. They poured kerosene on her and lit her aflame. And on her way to the hospital, in the ambulance, this is from BBC News Worldwide, So she was in the ambulance on the way to the hospital and she thought she would not survive the ride to the hospital. 
and made a statement on her brother's cell phone before she passed out that said, the teacher touched me. I will fight this crime till my last breath. And then, on April 10th, she passed away. There was almost 10,000 people at that young lady's funeral. 19 years old, never got to live a life. Because there's so much hate in this world. All because people cannot contain their hormones. This has been going on long before we have been around. Long before our grandparents. Long before the most ancient days of civilization. This has been around. Rape was normal back then. Over time we have learned etiquette and morality in most places. So long story short, this is not just a resume ads, but it's also a PSA. The next time anyone, male or female or non-binary, okay, but the next time anyone sees anyone they are attracted to, instead of being stalkerish, Instead of being creepy, instead of being volatile and whatever, don't grope, don't harass, and don't rape. Why would you want to go to jail over a quick hormonal imbalance? I'll tell you why. Because for so long, we have made the topic of masturbation taboo. It is okay to masturbate. It is okay to touch yourself, explore yourself, do whatever makes yourself feel good. There is not a damn thing wrong with masturbation. So again, the next time you see someone, anyone of any gender that you find attractive do not be creepy do not be nasty go home and masturbate don't rape masturbate we can turn that into a song if you need to don't rape masturbate don't rape masturbate don't rape masturbate don't rape masturbate, don't rape, masturbate. I dropped my phone <laughs> but I apologize for getting a little sentimental in this video. Actually, I mean, I don't apologize. Being sentimental is a normal part of life, and especially when a young woman has lost her life. Like, I don't think people realize how we take for granted our system here. Sure, a lot of Americans say, fuck the police, fuck the blues, blah, blah, blah. But how many of us have gone to the cops expecting to be protected, expecting to have repercussions for the person who was the, not the victim, but the other one, I don't know what they're called. The perpetrator, I guess, I don't know. But how many times do we go to the police expecting them to take care of the situation instead of escalating it and getting ourselves killed? You don't understand what we take for granted. But once again, I will say this young female's name because she does need to be remembered. She should be featured on our time 100 most influential people of the year because this woman will be a beacon of hope to the Bangladesh females. She will be a beacon of hope for change in this world. Nusrat Jahan. Rafi.
I am sorry you had to go through this. You will be missed. I hope you're in a better place now. <laughs> Don't rape. Masturbate. <laughs> all right, well, it's your boy Approximate. That's all I have for today. Sorry if you can't hear me. Turn up the volume. Put in your headphones. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Bye.